for our patients to receive the, the best experience and the staff, we need to constantly evolve and update practice and audit what we're doing all the time. What we're trying to achieve is minimum radiation doses that fall within the legal limits and constantly improve on them and make the cath lab a safe place to work and a safe place for our patients to come. Trying to advise others in, in uh, improving the radiation behaviour requires a lot of influencing because people are quite slow to, on the uptake and blasé to a degree, especially some of our older consultants. We started using DOSAWARE to uh, look at our environmental radiation doses around the cath lab and it was very useful for that. I think the expectations from DOSAWARE were, were quite high at, when we first got the system because it was a completely new thing. Previously we to measure radiation doses for our staff and if we wanted to do environmental monitoring we'd be using film badges which are hopeless regarding getting quick results and seeing what's happening. So having the availability of a live dose was uh, quite a new concept for us that, that we were really excited about. Here at LHCH we've used the Dose Aware protocol programme which has been very useful for us to enable us to try and reduce the radiation that we're exposing ourselves to and has actually led to some changes in practice. Prior to this we'd have our radiation badges on that we were given a report on a monthly basis but perhaps as long as we were under our radiation dose we weren't particularly looking at the practices that we undertook on a daily basis. Since we've had the Dose Aware system, um, it gives us a, a live update uh, so that both ourselves and particularly the radiologists are able to give us feedback straight away on what we're doing. So in particular, we look at angles. For example, I used to use lateral, um, on a, not routinely, but on occasion. And using the Dose Aware, you see that actually that gives a lot of radiation exposure. Um, particularly with the lead screen that we use here, um, like many interventional cardiologists, I tended to have the screen in front of the camera rather than in front of myself and through the dose aware system I was able to show that actually it's bringing the screen towards me that's important. Uh, we recently introduced uh, draping the patient so the patient's abdomen is draped and we've been able to show, we've got data to show that that reduces radiation scatter as well. So there's quite a few things that we've been able to do um, since we've had the programme in. Uh, the radiographers are also very alert to the angles that we're using. Will um, alert us, warn us straight away if one of the angles is a, is a high dose. Perhaps if we're reaching a threshold that we may have already preset. So it's really changed um, our practice and I think has helped reduce our radiation exposure both to myself, the rest of the staff in the lab and the patient. One of the most useful things I find about the Dose Aware system is the fact that it's an immediate dose and it's a live element. Um, so you can get feedback there and then in what you're doing during that procedure. It's not something that previously with our protection badges we looked at once a month and then cumulative over a year. It's something that we can adjust whilst we're doing the procedure and that's what's so important. I can change the angles, we can adjust the position of the camera, we can adjust the protection we've got. So that, I think that's probably the most useful aspect of this system. I think the, the critical success factors regarding using a DOTAWARE system and introducing it into a cath lab would, would be to involve the whole team in, in using the system and understanding what it does. I think DOSAWARE has provided uh, a lot of information that's reassuring for new cardiologists uh, coming through because they're more and more conscious of radiation risks 